Um, we, I was at the Kenilworth board meeting on April 26th, mm -hmm. and actually it was, um, it was fun to go there. I think that um, they're, they're very a different, they have term limits, which is one thing, mm. and also they um, seem to be in wanting some direction in how to be a trustee, and so, and to come to, like, do they go to conferences? Maybe we'll get some of them to come visit our board meetings so they can see what ours is about. Um, also, I forwarded them some information that's just normally what we give you all, and I think they found it very helpful. Mm -hmm. so, and in connection with that, um, I, Stuart went to the board meeting as well, and both the, Gail and Stuart said that they sort of liked the idea that one of our board people came, so but who now, Stuart? That. Pardon? Or unless Stuart just wants to keep doing it. Yeah, so Stuart <laughs> said he would be willing to keep it up. I'll, I'll, I'll go with I'll so I have yeah, he'll be my pal. Yeah, created yeah, yeah, a new yeah, position, yeah, which yeah. is basically liaison. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Kind of with liaison, yeah. board yeah. Yeah. liaison, and which I think it is good. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I think because we want to build our relationship yeah. with them. I mean, yeah. we are, for most Kenilworth, right, we are their public library. And just like we're talking about trustees contact and making that available on the website, you know, and an outreach to their trustee board, mm -hmm. um, it can't hurt. It's right. the, first, the first place I'm going to pedal book bike to is Kenilworth. Right? I'll, I'll, I'll pedal book bike <laughs> <The book bike. laughs> yeah, yeah, to, to, to the Kenilworth Police Station. <laughs> uh, but it also, the other thing is that, uh, and that uh, yeah, it was, it, the, the director from Winneka was there, Rebecca yeah. Wolf, no relation, yeah. but, but again, just really nice to kind of have that cross communication with the yeah. Kenilworth board and Rebecca, who yeah. We were, we, there were many things we shared with her that were very helpful to her, and she was sharing things with us that were helpful to us. So it was just nice to kind of have that in-person collaboration. Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, so thank, thank you, Stuart, for sure. Yeah. Sure. doing yes, that. Yes, thank you. So speaking of the book bike, it's now our Professor Plum, and we are also, we, the, the woman who won the, the um, naming contest was a sport, and she took pictures, and we had balloons, so that was kind of fun. Uh -huh. She rode the bike. Did, was she able to ride it? Yes. <laughs> yes, she was, she was able to ride the bike. It's a little bit um, it's cumbersome a task to ride the bike. You, I, you know, we have to have some strength uh -huh. to do it. So... <laughs> Um, so you're and not we're going to go very far with it, is that? Well, no, people who are strong can go far with it. It's just not, like I couldn't go far with it, but I think people who, who have. So you might take it down to Baton Rouge. Right. Like, no, is that what it, I mean? Oh, down. yes, absolutely. And now we're talking about a collection to put in the book yeah. so that we can yeah. circulate the book. And we're talking about paperbacks so yeah. that physically, uh, you know, yeah. you're not. Lighter items. Lighter items, right, or so whatever. That can still add up. Right, no, no, no. Okay. That's why I say yes. you have to be strong to do this. Absolutely. We all so tried to carry it. Yeah. Okay. Is this a, a, a totally separate collection that you're talking about that will be only for well, the book we're bike? Or? Kind of both. Okay. Like a, a collection that's devoted to the book bike mm -hmm. and that will have book bike stickers on it and stuff. But also, okay. specifically, if you're going to, let's say, the French market and so you bring cookbooks or you mm -hmm. bring mm -hmm. vegetable, how to grow your vegetables or whatever. So a little bit of both. Mm -hmm. And we're trying to work out the details on how to make that that happen. Yeah, yeah. Or yes. Uh -huh. One quick suggestion. I think um, last year the Memorial Day parade. Um, I don't know. I forget who puts it on. Maybe the village. But um, I think um, if we haven't thought about participating, right. maybe the Professor Plum can make his or her grand appearance at the Memorial Day parade. Right. If it's not too late, that'd be fun. I think there's a variety of of places that we can take him mm -hmm. to. I don't know if you could ride it all the way through yeah. a parade. I don't know how long the parade <laughs> route is. But um, get into the village. But what day is yeah. a Memorial Day parade? I don't know either. And I know Kenilworth has one, Monday. too. Monday. Is it on Memorial? Yeah. Yeah. I think yeah. it is. What a concept. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I think it is, right. So but yeah, I, I, don't, we didn't per, I don't think we yeah. participated in last year, so if we... Because the library is closed that day, of course. Yeah. And we realize. might not be ready this year, but right. for That's next right. year, for uh, sure. Right. Yeah, I'm not quite sure we're totally ready to right. go, but next year, for sure. Mm -hmm. Will be there, but yeah, that's. I mean, that's absolutely what we want to do. We should is go to down to the fourth. Get, get out there for the Fourth of July. Something fun. Yeah. No, absolutely. We're gonna enter in the Arlington Million, you know. <laughs> <laughs> so not quite so fun now is their strategic plan, which we are going to move forward on. No, no, it's going to be so much fun to do all these things, and what we've 
done is um, there's the five major areas, mm -hmm. and we have um, broken them up to and assigned them to different or not assigned people volunteered to be um, in charge or oversight mm -hmm. of those five mm -hmm. major areas, mm -hmm. and then also um, Cynthia did a great. Um, she cut and pasted so that we knew what objectives should be starting first. So those were the red objectives. Mm -hmm. So we assigned all the red objectives to people as well. So we're clearly moving forward. Uh, I think it was, Le I didn't, was it your idea, Lisa, about having the board get a five minute report? Or was it? it I Probably think Lisa's. I think, yeah, it, I think it would be good just to get yeah, an update. Absolutely. Because I know there right. was yeah, a discussion at a uh -huh. meeting that maybe we should wait for the new when right. he or she is assigned, but a lot of it can just keep Yeah, no, I think we're, yeah. I think we're ready to move yeah. forward on this. Mm -hmm. I really mm -hmm. do think we're ready to do move forward. And we like the idea of a little five-minute status report revolving, so... So they'd come, like, one one would come to a meeting, yeah. the board meeting, right at the beginning, they could just do their five minutes, yeah. and then they don't have to... Right, right. no, absolutely. Mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. And I think it's also will achieve the goal of you getting to know more of the staff. Right, which well. was a really nice part of that, right. doing that conference. Yes. The right. two-day conference was really working with staff on one, the, developing the goals. Yeah, the one area, of course, that you would expect from me, <laughs> I think. Oh, the green. The green area, we yeah. The green. We never had specific green uh, goals because they were supposed to be folded into each of the different elements. Yeah. So I would be um, pleased if that were part of the report. Okay. Duly noted. Mm -hmm. And that's, that's true. Jan and I did have that conversation, right. and yeah. uh, you know, I, just I had it with Heather. And it's thank you, Jen, for bringing, making sure that that doesn't fall. get lost. No, no, sure. definitely not. Mm -hmm. Definitely not. We're all committed to that. I know. So on the next page of A9 is um, the the statistics look a little different now, because this mm -hmm. is the report that you can have Polaris do. Mm -hmm. And it is um, actually only from the 14th, which is when we went mm -hmm. offline and CERC could oh, wow. be online, um, and Two through weeks. the 30th. And it's like pretty amazing how much, so the, the different um, columns are explained. But we really did a huge amount of CERC in a half a month. Yeah. I mean, it's really amazing. Wow. Yeah. And what's really interesting is. about the ratios, it shows you when you look in that final column, column eight, the, the mm -hmm. higher the ratio, the more well used the um, collection is. Mm -hmm. And so it looks like our winners is, is a hot Blu-rays. Um, you know, both the new Blu-rays and the new mm -hmm. DVDs and the hot ones, which are ones that you can, mm -hmm. um, can't can place. It's like the hot picks. Mm -hmm. Those, mm -hmm. as you can see, those collections are um, are very well used. And mm -hmm. will this affect future collections if we <clears throat> keep st statistics like this? Um, I'm not sure I understand what you mean. Of, of enlarging certain collections. Oh, well, well right. Yeah. Well, that's why we added more money mm -hmm. to that budget. Is that right. what you mean? So, mm -hmm. yeah, we, we see that from this, it's easy to see what are the most popular. Exactly. But it's mm -hmm. also true that, <clears throat> like, with the book budget, or with the book budget, with mm -hmm. the books, there's so many books that it's hard to have. I mean, so the smaller yeah. the collections, it's easier to have the higher numbers, the uh, higher Blu rays and, Blu rays and DVDs go out only for a week. Right, and that's also true. Right. Oh, right, that's a good to, point. Right, yeah. right. 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 So yeah. Yeah. take it with a grain of salt, mm -hmm. but I still think it's uh, it's an interesting oh, format of the way yes. statistics mm -hmm. are. Very and much. on the next <laughs> page, this wasn't affected at all. It covers the entire month, it, uh, all of our electronic services. Um, so you one question sure. going forward. Will there be a month-to-month -month comparison to see how the what the trends are with these different categories? If it is going to work the way it worked in um, with our other previous system, mm -hmm. there will be a, a will yearly work. accumulation. Oh, I don't not a month-to-month, -month, but a like a yearly Got accumulation. It, okay. Okay, I think I've so All right. talked uh, enough. Committee reports. Thank you, Gail. Yes. You're welcome. Thank you. Um, committee reports. Um, <coughs> we, uh, we've got um, <coughs> a landscape committee. I 
guess there's really nothing to say on the director search. We're all sort of up to date on that. Mm -hmm. um, but Ron, if you could give a two-minute summary of of the finance committee and we that we just said. Well, we discussed the draft budget in some detail um, and concluded with a recommendation that we move forward in the uh, process for adopting uh, the budget. It will be published um, and uh, the hearings will be scheduled and so, you know, that will proceed as expected uh, or in our normal cycle. Um, there's nothing extraordinary that's changing. Um, the uh, the one adjustment that I think will will be no, most notable is that uh, through uh, careful analysis, um, our business manager has has evaluated the staff portion of the budget and thinks that we're going to come much closer to the targeted numbers in the coming year than we have sometimes in the past. Um, that's partly a variable that's hard to control with some of the positions um, that have been filled recently and of course the vacancy that we have now. But, um, you know, I think we'll be on target. Um, there's nothing radically different in the budget. Okay. Well, thank you. Uh, Lisa, uh, who's going to tell us a bit about, well, about... You don't want to make this just so it's on the Well, the, the, you know, in the notes here are the schedules, so we'll, um, which are pretty self-explanatory. Uh, I want to move on to Lisa. Okay. Thanks for allowing me to go to the PLA. I got there the morning of, right before they shut down the airport. That <laughs> That's right. Uh, on a 7 o'clock yeah. flight. What was the date of that then? It was, when was it? God. Decades ago. It was decade. It was in <laughs> April. In April. Uh, uh, it mm -hmm. was in April. Yeah, yeah but it was, it was the, 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 they shut down yeah. because a lot of the stuff was canceled. All the restaurants were closed, so yeah, it was. <laughs> Interesting. Oh, that's right. For only about a half an inch of snow in mm -hmm. the <laughs> So here's some, and I, I, I'm trying to send Cynthia the uh, presentations of the five ones that I'm noting, mm -hmm. just so if you want to look at the PowerPoint, you can get more detail and be happy to talk about it. But one of the things I thought was interesting is chap, uh, assessing and aligning service philosophy, service delivery, and service points. One of the things noted is a lot of librarians are moving from behind the desk and rotating and doing a lot of different and new things in terms of engaging the public. Mm -hmm. And um, <coughs> that whole, their whole journey was good. What I found particularly interesting was their service pledge and how they got to it. Because I know that when we were doing the, I guess the strategic plan, we were trying to get to <coughs> our mission, our vision, but mm -hmm. I think we were sort of wiped out, and I think maybe it gets revisited when the new person comes. Mm -hmm. That would be a good after idea. after a while, she's mm -hmm. been here maybe a year after. Right. But I thought this one was interesting. You are our top priority, whatever, wherever, and wherever <coughs> you choose to visit us. Every moment should shine. We are friendly, helpful, responsive, and engaged. We are focused on meeting your needs and committed to making every visit delightful. <coughs> and how they broke it down with staff as to what those components would look like when mm -hmm. they delivered. And so they went through that whole process. And so mm -hmm. that will be on the uh, presentation. The second thing is human, using human-centered uh, design to empower library staff <coughs> to, identify, okay? yeah. to identify, test, and implement um, service improvements. and. Um, there was a lot about design thinking for libraries, and Chicago Public Library was there, San Jose Public Library, and they talked about their process as to how they engaged all the staff, all the different, uh, whatever, small, the other li yeah, all the libraries mm -hmm. within that zone mm -hmm. to do it. But what's more interesting is the process they took us through, and you can get, if you're interested, designthinkingforlibraries.com, all the tools and processes are available on free from design process to a day. And you saw Heather doing a little bit of that when she was playing with the furniture, right. buying the new furniture to observe, to see what happens, what doesn't happen, and 
moving on to how it reacts. So I think a lot of people, you know, a lot of them are doing it, just throwing something out there, see what happens, like evaluate, and, and then keep moving. But that's an excellent book. Um, joint P, uh, there was a 10-year study, uh, a repeat of a 10-year study from the PLA, ALA, and OCLC, and it's from Awareness to Funding, Voter Perceptions, and Support of Public Libraries in 2018. I know we think we're stellar, but I think all libraries have room for improvement. And I think some of the findings, and you can go get the infographic, you can see a webinar, you've got the link there. Some mm -hmm. of the key findings were most U.S. voters believe public libraries are essential to communities and a source of civic pride. Voters still highly value traditional library services such as free access to books and to quiet areas, but also increasingly value the library as a community hub. So that's why we see the complaints a lot in terms of keeping some of the spaces private, but also in terms of the outreach of what we're doing with the community and almost serving as a community hub. So we're, I think mm -hmm. we're going in the right direction mm -hmm. so it affirms that. And then there continues to be a disconnect between and excuse the typo, the services libraries offer mm -hmm. and public and awareness and support of those for those